Blood of World War was a conference that happened on 25th of January 2023 with a lot of new features and exciting news about Flutter and Dar. Let's take a look at the top 10 highlights of Flutter Forwards quickly in this video. It was announced that more than 5 million Flutter developers are around the globe and more than 700,000 Flutter applications are on App Stores. Flutter is the top three project on GitHub 2. DAR 3 Alpha is available to be tested out. So language features such as records and patterns are going to be available in DAR 3 Alpha. This is a nice language features that you can give it a try right now and it makes your syntax way better. DAR 3 will come with 100 null safe. We already had null safety in DAR 2. However, now in DAR 3, the language will be 100% null safe to follow and finish the journey of null safety. It makes the language produce less machine code, makes the language performance way better. Dart already supports different processes architecture like, like ARM or Intel 60 or 32 bits, but now Dart is going to be compiled to RISC-V and VASM architecture as well. One of the greatest features that was announced in Flutter Forward is to compile web not only to JavaScript, but also right now to VASM. And this version of the VASM will be the VASM with gar garbage collection GC, which makes Flutter one of the first framework that is compiling to VASM with GC support. Element embedding. This feature is perhaps my favorite that makes your Flutter application compile your a component to a web component where you can embed that web component to any application and start interacting with other piece of the application. It was not possible before because you had like a sandbox with Flutter. You couldn't really interact very easily, but now that makes a feature that you can compile to web component and start interacting with native HTML and CSS in your application. Pixel shaders are going to be supported on Flutter Web 2. This is an exciting news for those who want to make especially complex animations. News toolkit is around the corner and a new toolkit from Flutter team that makes you to develop news application much faster up to 80% time saving of your development. New FFI and JNI Gen tool are super hot. This was announced in Flutter or what? That now they're working on a new way of looking at Flutter and Dart to call native APIs directly from Dart. You can do that right, right now with method channels and other tools that you have. But with these tools, you will be able to call native APIs directly on iOS and Android. 3D support is coming to Flutter. You can now create 3D and export them to .glb files and import them to your Flutter applications. This is a great feature which is opening a lot of doors and windows for developers. Maybe you can create 3D games. You never know. There are lots of opportunities there. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed Flutter Forward summary, the top 10 features that was announced in Flutter Forward. But let me know in the comment below, what is your favorite feature which was announced and you are looking forward to see those features in your applications soon.